Hey, we're going to take a look at Nolt.io in this video. It's a, it's a place where you can create a product board where you can get all sorts of feedback from your customers, your community, your internal team, lots of use cases that I'll cover in this video. And I really like this product, so check it out. Hey everybody, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Today we're going to talk about this product, Nolt.io. It's a way you can collect feedback from your users and whoever your community might be for your product or service. I, I really love this concept of making it available for users to give you suggestions on how to improve your product. And what I like about Nolt is it's you got a free option and it's actually a pretty decent free option it, it limits you to free suggestions um but everything else is is pretty much there now if you look at their pro that's where you're going to get their, their, their the juicy stuff team members advanced branding custom domains integrations custom statuses but 25 dollars a month that's not bad so i've talked about products like these in the past in fact i did a video on canny which is one of the competitors in this space I never heard of Nolt, and, and I came across this in the wild from another product I was looking at, a social proof product called Let Convert, and they are using it. And you can see, really, you know, this is their free version because they don't have a custom domain here. Uh, really simple branding, just their name, little message here. You can kind of see I can go through easily and see all the suggestions and vote. I can make a suggestion, you know, really easily there. Uh, I can quickly go by and see what's completed, what's archived, what's open, what's trending, what's new. Let's see if I click on one of these. I can get some information about that. And I'm assuming if I do try to vote this up, it'll have me authenticate. Yeah, so it looks like I have to sign in and uh, it tells me some good reasons to do that. It'll give me more uh, of a vote. I'm not going to do that on this one right here but I can also have a progress tab here and show completed so this is a great way to get feedback communicate with your user community uh, I highly recommend these types of tools but let's go ahead and give Nolt a try and set up a brand new free board here so let's click there all right what's your main goal so they actually have a couple use cases here that's great to get product feedback from maybe just your internal team I, I hadn't actually thought about that i'm talking from a customer perspective but this would be great for your internal team to, to, to bounce ideas off uh, content ideas that that's a really unique use case you know asking your subscribers what what content do they want you to create i like that and then other feedback that that's let's let's do the product one uh, actually, you know what? Let's do the content one because that's kind of unique. I'm going to say content and see what that is. Okay, what do your fans call you? I'm going to say Tech Smart Boss. Okay, so you can, it's kind of giving me a preview of that, that, that header that we saw on the other example. Uh, theme color. Um, you know, I don't know if my color is going to look really well on this because it's a little bit darker, but let's see. Well, it's not too bad. I'll keep it that color. And um, wow, nice little preview there. Let's go ahead and continue. Now I could skip these. I see a skip, but this is a nice onboarding. So it's going to give me a little tutorial here. I'm just going to go ahead and continue. And now it wants me to sign in. So it actually let me do some setup before I even put in my email, which is a nice onboarding technique. Let you see what you're going to get. Let's go ahead and put in my email and get a login link. So it looks like it's going to do that. Um, magic link type thing that slack and um uh medium is doing what i'm going to do is pause this video go out there and get that link and come back here so hold on one second okay so i'm back let me open up a new tab and paste that link that it sent me in here it's a one-time use link and all right i'm i'm logged in so now now it looks like it didn't keep that color that i set um but Look down here, I've got two steps left. Let's click on that and see what those two steps are. Okay, delete the sample and create three posts. That's that's pretty straightforward. Let's see what else I've got here. This is a, inter let's min minimize that again. This is a nice, clean sort of interface. I, I, I like the openness of it. Let's see, this is a setting icon. So this is where I can upgrade. Uh, let's take a look at their settings. This is where I can set my description. I can change that text. That's a nice feature. There, there's a... Uh, my URL. So even though I don't have a custom domain at this point, 
I can update that to be what I want, which is nice. Visibility, so that again, if I want to keep it internal for my internal team, I, I really like that use case. I hadn't thought about that before. Uh, authentication, if I want people to vote anonymous or verified. So that's a nice feature right there. And I like that that's included in the free. Uh, I'm going to switch that to verified. You you know, you don't want a bunch of jokers out there messing with your suggestions. You can have your competitors. Or you could, I mean, you could do it on the verified too. They can use a fake email, but that's just a little bit more and then logos and favor cons that, that's nice let's go ahead and save those settings go back all right let's go back now it, it updated me to my url let's look at design so this is okay so i've got some i can do that custom color oh i use that as the accent not the header that's interesting i like the gradient idea there i've got some themes let's just uh Let's pick this theme right. Let's pick this one. It looks like a little gradient on it. Yeah, not quite, but all right. Uh, integrations. Now this I think is part of the paid, but let's see what they are. Slack. You know I love my Slack. Uh, and then it looks like you can integrate with some of your other product boards that you might have your team working on feedback. Uh, if I click on this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's 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 going to be a pro feature there. Let's go back. They got the dark theme going here. Administrators, I only have one person I can have in the team in the free, and that's the danger zone. If I want to delete or transfer, all right, let's see what this is. Looks like some kind of analytics. Okay, so it's going to let me know all my posts. This is simple but effective. That's nice, and this looks to be some kind of academy where it's a built in help. I, I like, I, you know, I really like their interface. They put some time and thought, it's a little unique, it's something I haven't seen in other products, and it works well. So, this is a uh, pretty uh pretty nice from that now you'll see that the free has powered by nult so in fact they they might not okay yeah, they do have powered by nult i didn't notice that before so that does come in the free i wonder i guess in the pro you can unlock that so i've got my boards i can have multiple oh interesting i guess because i was on that one it's kind of linked me as a contributor i guess at some point i must have voted something up on that i didn't realize that so that's that's a unique aspect right there. Let's go back there. See what else I have. Account settings. That's all pretty, pretty straightforward. And search. Let's make a suggestion. I'm just going to put this as a test. Now, I don't see any concept of using markup or the ability to attach images or anything like that here. So that's probably something that they can improve on. Or it might just be there. I can attach files, so I could attach an image if I wanted to. And there we go with that. Now let's see if I can. If, is this the way? This is the sample post. Oh, in the sample, you can see it's a lot of information that you can put. There, there must be some markup. There it is. So there is markup uh, in this code, which is going to make that uh, very nice. And this is where I can delete and do things like that. So as, a, as an admin, I've got the ability to change the status here. Now, create status I thought was a pro. Let's just try this and see if it tells me. No, well, actually, let me do that. So I, I, that is not a pro. Details, voters. You can see your voters. Let's see if I can create a custom field there. So there's, there's a lot more power here than is at first glance that you, that you, you can see. Notify me. Subscribe to that. That's a really nice feature. I will say from a user, that's something. I'm going to go back over here to this one. That's something that is extremely not obvious to end users and is an extremely powerful feature. If I click in here and there's a notify me. So pretty, pretty nice feature there. So, hey, I, I don't want this video to go too long, but you can kind of see that this is a really powerful option in the feedback space. I might actually look at you know, migrating to this definitely because it's free. You can't beat that. And, uh, you know, from, from a perspective of upgrading $25 a month, pretty affordable, and you can get that custom domain and those integrations, and you can get more users uh, on your team involved as well. So, hey, if you like this, check it out. If you like these types of videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put one out every week. And also check out our Facebook page and our website for more free resources. And stay tuned for the next video.